Mate, what's going on? Mate, I literally I just... just put the lure in the water to trial it. <laughs> and a big king's come up and just nailed me. What are we going to do here? We need to chase this I thing, don't know, but I'm in trouble. Right. Yep, I think he's gone to the back. <laughs> Well, I couldn't help myself. I've always got the next, well, certainly probably three sizes up in rod and reel. So I've got, I've got a five to nine kilo stick here with some 15 pound braid and a bit of 20 pound leader. And there's a, there's a nice <laughs> king. <laughs> and a bit of craziness. Uh, yeah. So Paige, as I said, generally I'm prepared. I left the net at home, but uh, luckily I remembered to keep this rod in here and uh, just work that top water lure across the top. Bang! King, he just came and ate it straight away. It's fantastic to see them eating off the surface like that. All right. Ah, beautiful little Sydney Harbour kingfish on a slightly different tackle and, and probably landed it a heck of a lot quicker than what uh, Roscoe's been able to do with his. But I've got to tell you, any time you catch a kingfish is just sensational, no matter what the tackle, but that one of Ross's is amazing on three pound leader. I think we've said it a couple of times already. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. That's awesome. I've got to tell you, that's not a bad start to what is supposed to be a brim session, mate, but you never know what Sydney Harbour's going to offer. It's just amazing. There's, it, it, it's, there's so much structure here, boats, there's so much going on, and yet, Beautiful, healthy fish like this, it just makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? No, it is, absolutely. All right, let's get them back in, eh? Oh, you go, 